Mexico. I'm back at the airport, which means that it's time for the next adventure. This time I am going back on an island. I will take a flight. If you can see that tiny airplane here behind me, that's mine. I've never been in an airplane that small. It's made for only 12 passengers. And I'm a little bit excited. Not nervous at all. Get ready to join me on my adventure to the Rockets. This was by far the smallest airplane I have ever taken in my life. After dropping off our bags, we chose our seats and quickly took off towards paradise. The flight itself only took 30 minutes and I have to admit that on such a small airplane I was expecting the most unstable flight but it actually wasn't bad at all. It all went super smooth and there were no turbulences nor any other issues at all. And then we landed after only 30 minutes on the airplane. A bit before 9 a.m. we left the airport and I was super excited to finally explore Los Roques. Here we are. Venezuelans hype this archipelago a lot. They always describe it as a pure paradise that has the most beautiful beaches on the world. So my expectations were extremely high. We got picked up at the airport and went straight to our hotel. The main island is called El Gran Roque and really isn't big. On our way to the hotel we just saw a few little stores and small buildings and as you can see there are no roads made of asphalt. It is all built on sand. After only more or less 5 minutes of walking we already arrived at our hotel. As Venezuela is quite an expensive option, we went for the most economical version and chose a package for 3 days and 2 nights at the Posada Cremari and I was absolutely happy with that choice. It was very clean and had cute and pretty rooms, the bed was comfortable and we had everything we needed. Also the personnel was super attentive. They have organized the tours to other islands for us and were always there for any questions. Another important remark is that the food at this posada was super delicious. Los Roques is an archipelago that contains more than 300 islands. The plan for us was to visit the island Francisqui on the first day, which is close to the main island, and on another day Cayo de Agua. We arrived like one hour ago, more or less, and it's time to go to the first beach. We will go to the island Francisqui, which is not too far away, and we will take a boat. So shortly after arriving at the hotel, we already left again for the first tour to the island Francisqui. We arrived at the little port after only three minutes of walking. The guides were preparing the boat and we just waited a few more minutes until we were ready to go. We were meant to spend the whole day on the island Francisqui, so everyone got a box with food and drinks so that we wouldn't get hungry at all. And then we were on our way to the island. The ride took about 10 minutes only. And then we already got dropped off on a white sanded paradise with crystal clear waters. And we were left alone on the island with two chairs, our food box and an umbrella. People, we just got dropped off in paradise. This is the first island, first day, first island. This island is the island Francisqui, which is close to El Gran Roque, which is behind us. It took us about 10 minutes to get here, and today we will relax here on the island. 
it's possible to do some tours here that come with extra costs. You can do snorkel here, you can go with a kayak or a stand-up paddleboard to beaches that are close by. And we got dropped off here, literally dropped off here. We are alone. We will get picked up at five. So this is all we have. Two shares. This thing, I don't know how it's called, but you know what I mean? And some food for lunch. Some food, snack, and water. I don't know what it is, but for sure it's delicious. It always is. After setting up everything, I soaked in some sun in the early hours of the day while it was still possible as later on the sun was way too strong for that. There were only a few more people with us on the island and it was super calm. On the island Franciski there are several things they offer, such as water activities and snorkeling in a natural pool that is close to the beach. There is also a restaurant and you could have a nice meal here on the beach with this beautiful view. The water was the clearest and it wasn't cold at all. We took a little walk to explore the island even more and we came to another part of the island where the water was so clear you actually hardly noticed that there was water already. This was such a peaceful place. Some seagulls, calm and crystal clear water, some boats and just a handful of people. This place was insane. We kept walking along a small path that led to a natural pool where snorkeling was possible. Here in this natural pool you can do snorkeling for an additional cost of $30 per person. There is a statue in the water and they would take some photos of the experience. We then went back to our stuff and took a swim in the most beautiful water. Alright, time to make some new friends. And then it was time for a lunch with a beautiful view. We had some delicious rice with vegetables and chicken and some bread. For everyone interested in kitesurfing, Los Roques are the perfect spot to kitesurf as they come with perfect water and wind conditions. What a day people, what a day. Our pickup just got here. It's almost 5 now and we are going back to the main island. So it was time to pack our stuff and go back to the main island. When arriving at El Gran Roque, we went back to the hotel to drop off our things. Alright, I'm back at the hotel now and before I'm going to take a shower and have dinner, I will do a little walk around the village since I haven't seen it at all this morning. We just arrived and then immediately left for the island. So now it's time to have a look around the village. It's really quite small, so I'm not sure how long it will take. I'm gonna take you with me. Let's go. The sun was already setting slowly when we started the walk. El Gran Roque has only a few small streets and some small squares with decorations that come straight out of the sea. There are a few stores, pharmacies, restaurants and hotels, so everything you might need during your stay on Los Roques is available. 
We saw some kids playing baseball, which by the way is one of the most popular sports in Venezuela, if not the most popular. And of course, I wanted to represent my country and show off my talent for baseball. We decided to hike up the hill of the island to the lighthouse to get a view all over the island. It's not a long hike, neither is it difficult. The way has been constructed by students here from the island and marked with seashells that come straight from the Caribbean Sea. Although the hike really isn't difficult, I recommend you to bring more appropriate clothes than a long dress and flip-flops. From up there, we had a great view all over the village, all the way to the airport where we arrived on that same day and also saw some islands that are nearby the main island. And up there is probably also the best sunset viewpoint. I just took a shower and now it's time for dinner and later on we will just take a little walk and then go to bed early because tomorrow we gotta get up early again to get to another island. We were being served a lot of very delicious food and went to bed with a very satisfied stomach. Good morning people! It's 9.30 and I just got ready for day two here in Los Roques. Today we are going to Calle de Agua, which is a little bit further away. We will be on that boat for about 40 minutes and then spend another day in paradise. This time we went on a longer boat ride and then we arrived in Cayo de Agua. Hello! This is it. Here we are in Cayo de Agua. The island is so famous because it's actually two islands that are connected by a sandbank that is here in the background. At the sandbank the water comes from both sides of the sandbank and um, floats across the sandbank, which is extremely beautiful. Again, they just dropped us off with a snack box, an umbrella and some chairs to enjoy the day here. I'm going to do a walk now to show you around the island and yeah, that's it, let's go! After getting an overview of the island from this little hill, I went straight towards the part with the sandbank. One thing that is important to mention is that this island is completely remote. There's no restaurant or anything else like on the other one yesterday. So you have to bring everything yourself. Of course, you can also do some snorkeling. You can swim here and yeah, enjoy the beauty of this island. How much the sandbank is visible always depends on the state of the tide. When we arrived, the tide was rather low and the sandbank clearly visible. By the way, if you book a package for Los Roques, it usually includes two tours for two different beaches that are close to the main island. The Cayo de Agua is quite far away and it comes with an extra cost of $80 per person. Little hint here, it's cheaper if you book it's on Los Roques and not before with a travel agency. For me, it was totally worth it to spend these $80 extra. Now feel free to rate this place and let me know what you think in the comments below. Look at these colors of the water, the white and super fine and soft sand and the endless beautiful beach. This guys is one of the most touristic places of Venezuela. And now please take your time and count the human beings that you can see on this whole island. And think about other touristic places that you might have visited before. Where on earth have you ever found a touristic place like that and shared it with just a handful of people all day long? Already on the first island I noticed that a lot. I asked if at some point there was a high season when it would get crowded. But the answer I've got was that it's always like that. 
These islands are not only super beautiful but also super peaceful. This is a place where you can actually enjoy your vacation, the nature and completely relax and disconnect. For me it was an insane experience. This whole time I just couldn't believe where I was and what I saw. I think it's probably also visible in my face that here all I felt was happiness and gratefulness. Alright people, it's time to say goodbye to this paradise here. We are moving forward, but this is not the end of the day. It's only 2.30 and we are going to another island now. So we went back to the boat for a short ride to the next island. We arrived on this beautiful island which has a little sanctuary for turtles. Here they protect the sea life and have different kinds of turtles. We just arrived on the island Dos Mosquises and this is an island where you can actually see turtles. They also explained us a lot about the sea life of the area and their work. La primera que vamos a ver que es la tortuga verde o tortuga blanca, muy famosa por el personaje en la película de Nemo. Esto que tenemos acá son unos ejemplares juveniles. Esta es la famosa Carey. Ya saben lo que pasa con el caparazón de este animalito. Lentes, zarcillos, anillos, pulseras, cintillos. Peligro de tizón. Sí. Y además de eso la buscan por su carne, porque la consideran una exquisitez, un plato exótico. ¿En serio? Claro, las comen. La gente no piensa. Las comen. Esto, esto no llega al año. Mira, no las soltamos así porque todavía no consideramos que están listas para irse. ¿Qué es lo que pasa? Que la población ha bajado significativamente. ¿Cuál es el trabajo de nosotros? La repoblación del archipiélago, ya que estas especies son necesarias para mantener el arrecife vivo. Okay. A veces las soltamos a un año, pues, o sea, eso dependiendo de la población que tengamos acá. After about half an hour, we continued our trip to the next stop. This time we went to a place where we were able to see some big starfish. And it didn't take long until we found the first one. We spent about half an hour at this spot and then it was time to go back to the main island. So we just came back from our tour, we already took a shower and now we will just take a little walk on the island. We went back to the hill with the lighthouse to take some drone shots for the sunset and later on just ended the second perfect day with a delicious dinner. Alright people, this is it from Los Roques. This is day three and there was the option to go to another island today but I decided to stay on the main island here because my flight is at 12, I will go back to Caracas at 12. I felt like it would be a little bit more relaxed just to stay here on the beach and enjoy this main island a little bit more. So I went for the less stressful option. I hope you did like this video. Make sure to drop me any comment if you have any question. I will answer all of them later and I hope to see you in the next video. Our plane arrived on time and it was time to say goodbye to the most beautiful beaches I have ever seen so far. Everybody always talks about Maldives, but seriously guys, let's start talking about the beaches of Venezuela as well, because they definitely deserve more attention.